Hey, this is Scott Coker. You're watching True MMA. Welcome to another action-packed episode of The True MMA Show. This is an action-packed episode that features Randy Couture, Henzo Gracie, True's Travels, Celebrity Chef, Training with True, Fan Giveaways, and plenty more. Nowadays, everybody looks like an MMA fighter. Check out this embarrassing moment that happened to me at Gladiator Challenge last week. Can I just get a quick soundbite from you? Quick soundbite? Well, what about? Just post-fight interview about your fight at uh, uh -huh. UFC the, a few weeks ago when you beat, uh, uh, God, who was the guy you fight? When you beat Gomi. I mean, I'm not, I'm not Clay Guida. You're not? No. This, are you, you, come on, man. You're putting me on. Nah, nah. You're not Clay Guida? No. All right, sorry about that. Hey, sure. right. For the record, I still think that was Clay Guida. On this episode of True's Travels, I head to San Jose for Strike Force Nick Diaz vs. Evangelista Cyborg. We're here in San Jose at Hemcon. We're looking for Nick Diaz trying to do a pre fight interview before he takes on Evangelista Cyborg for the title tonight at Strike Force. This is Aaron True for True MMA. You're at Strike Force Diaz versus Cyborg. Well, we don't want to keep you too long. We know you're uh, really eager to go get some cupcakes, cupcakes. and to go eat. It's cupcake time. <laughs> Congrats. It's cupcake, cupcake time. It's better it's than time. Oh yeah. It's cupcake time. <laughs> I'm here with Strike Force 145 pound female champion Christine Santos Cyborg. I hope he fights soon. He good, give a good show for my fans. Josh, can you give us your opinion on the Herschel Walker fight? Who are you predicting? Herschel Walker. This is Aaron True. We're here backstage with Trevor Prangley. Tough loss tonight against Hodger Gracie. You have three professional fights. He was only his fourth. How tough was he on the ground? Well, he's just, uh, I mean, tough on the ground. Long, awkward. Uh, you know, it just feels like you got a, a lead blanket on you. I'm here with one of the coaches at AKA Bob Cook. Incredible performance by one of your students, Herschel Walker, tonight. Are you impressed by him? Yeah, no, I thought he looked fantastic. Um, he came out and really shined. Uh, I was, uh, Scott had a wrestling background. I was thinking he was going to try to wrestle him a little more, maybe get a couple takedowns. Uh, but Scott came to stand, it looked like, and uh, hell, they banged it out. I'm still tired. It's, it's the weirdest thing. Uh, who knows? I need to recover, relax, rest my body, and come back strong again. This is Aaron True. I'm here at Post Fight Strike Force San Jose with legendary fighter, teacher, grappler. <laughs> Uh, Jiu-Jitsu practitioner Henzo Gracie, tell us about what you think about uh, your, one of your students' performances tonight. Oh man, Roger was unbelievable. You know, not only Roger but Nick Diaz, Jacare was was an unbelievable night for Jiu-Jitsu. You know, and now the boys finish. They finish their fights with submission, so it was perfect. Does it make you proud to see them finish? Because I know you like to see the Jiu-Jitsu used, but more so to see people finish fights. How did you feel to see all the fights finish? Oh man, it's, it makes me very proud, and you know? it makes uh, it makes me proud to know that all the work that we did is being shown to the world right now, you know, so I'm very happy. Trevor Pringley has 30 professional fights. This was Hodger's fourth fight, and he was able to, to finish him with, with ease. He was able to handle him the entire first round and then take his back and choke him out. Is he the future of the Gracie family? Is he the next up and coming in your uh, team? I don't think the future. He's here already, you know. He's the present, and for sure I will see him becoming a champion. He has all the qualities, and all that he needs is to want. If he wants to do that, for sure. He's the best jiu-jitsu fighter out there, and for sure, he can be the best MMA fighter out there, too. We had a great time tonight watching your students fight, but we love watching you fight also. <laughs> can we see you fight again soon? For sure. I'm going to have a little trouble to get rid of the gut first, but after I do that, I'll be back in the, in the cage for sure. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Choose Travels as we go backstage at Strike Force San Jose at the HP Pavilion, Diaz vs. Cyborg title fight. Recently, I attended a Randy Tour signing, and the place was packed. I wanted to see how knowledgeable his fans really are. This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV, and today we're at the Body Arts Tattoo Expo for Gladiator Challenge. I had the chance to ask Randy Couture one question. Here it is. Do you think that it's a big challenge stepping in there against someone who is just the former champion? And uh, do you look to make a title run after this if you win the fight? I'm not worried about title runs. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be ready for Leota. I've wanted to fight him for a long time. I, I'm very enamored by his style. He's got an interesting approach to the sport, and uh, I've watched him over the last couple of years. This is the fight I've been looking forward to. Do you know who Kane Velasquez is, the heavyweight champ? The Nope. 
Are you going to check out the MMA fights today or just here for the tattoos stuff? Here for the tattoos, man. You know, I checked out the ring. It was kind of small. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I saw you had a tap out shirt on, though. You're not in MMA? Yeah, I used to work for tap out. Would you say that your booth gets the most traffic? We did really well yesterday, so <laughs> you got to have a little something extra. There is a long line of people here at the Tattoo Body Art Expo to meet Randy Couture. I want to see, are these people really Randy Couture fans, or are they just standing in a long line getting an autograph because they see other people in the long line? Two fans here in line taking the Randy Couture Pop Quiz Challenge to win a huge prize. First question, how many times has Randy Couture fought Chuck Liddell? No help from the crowd. Uh, three. <laughs> three. Okay, so the first question they got right, they had that there. Second question. Randy Couture has fought Vitor Belfort twice. The three times the fighters and the Randy Couture and the Vitor Belfort, the elite Victor Belfort, but I don't oh, know. Twice, twice. Oh, this a what? <laughs> well, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, these are not real Randy Couture fans. I'm here with Tim and Johnny doing the Randy Couture fan challenge here in line. Question one. What is Randy Couture's middle name? Go. The natural. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know his middle name. No. Sorry guys, it's Dwayne. Apparently we are not with real Randy Couture fans. We're here in line, people meeting Randy Couture, taking the Randy Couture MMA Pop Quiz Fan Challenge. First question, Randy Couture has fought Chuck Liddell how many times? Three. Randy Couture fought Vitor Belfort twice. How did he lose uh, the title to him in one of the fights? Uh, TKO. Do you know how it was a TKO though? <laughs> Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, yes. another... He got, a, he got a cut on his eye. Okay, so now you're going to the final question. This is going to be a tough one, though. At UFC 13, Randy Couture made his debut in the octagon. Who did he fight? Oh, dude. I do not know. Either do I, but since you didn't give an answer, you don't win a prize. Thanks for your time. <laughs> the best part about the local shows, you can get hands-on right in the action. I'm preparing for a fight March 12th against Lee Honish, and there's a couple of rumors going around that need to be addressed. Apparently, people say I got TKO'd by a 13-year-old. Does this look like I got TKO'd to you? <laughs> no. Apparently you get kicked in the stomach one time, drop to the ground and scream, and people consider it a TKO. I'm here with Ike from Las Vegas Nutrition Center. I know that you've been studying my film, studying my footage, and you've got some help for me. What are we going to do here today to improve my performance? Well, unfortunately, um, I've been checking out your physique and your bitch tits got to go and you got to lose that blubber gut. And I was going to put you on a couple of products, but I think since you're built so much like a woman, we're just going to start you out on this female fat burner. It's just uh, liquid L-carnitine, which is a fat burner, chromium picolinate, which will metabolize dietary sugars, and glucomannan, which will make you feel full, so you, which is good because you're going to narrow that diet down to two meals a day anyway. And it's that, it's that basic. Is this going to make me sensitive, hypersensitive, or any emotional issues or any kind of other issues in my body, though? I thought you had all that going on already. <laughs> For UFC 126 Anderson Silva vs Vitor Belfort, we did an online fan giveaway. Check out this week's winner and what he won. For those of you who know me, you know I'm OCD about hygiene, so this is extremely gross. But in my hands, I hold Jacare's hand wraps. He just successfully defended his 185-pound middleweight championship here at Strike Force. Cut off the hand wraps, handed them to me. One fan will win these. Oh! This is Matt Pena here with uh, Aaron True. Got my gloves that I won off of Anderson Silva's knockout of uh, Victor Belford. I picked two minutes and uh, he did it just a little bit over that, so I'm way stoked. One, and I chose uh, Jacare's hand wraps from uh, the Robbie Lawler Talio fight. On the last episode of True MMA Show, we featured Celebrity Chef. We had hundreds of requests for him to come back on, so here he is with Horse Meat Furtada.
So what I'm going to be preparing for you today is an egg white horse meat. Um, the thing about horse meat is that it's got a lot more protein in every bite. I mean, if it was up to you, would you like a regular cow from Old Man Rivers Farm or maybe a sea biscuit with a little bit of garlic? Let that horsey sizzle like so. I know Overeem prefers uh, his horse meat, so this is kind of for him. Everyone's been asking me how long have I been cooking horse meat, and you know, all I have to say is Sugar Ray Leonard before he was Sugar Ray, Rocky before he was Rocky, Joe Montana before Notre Dame. They used to call him Horse Gracie when I was cooking for him. Mike Tyson before his face tattoo. The Hogan Family before Hogan Knows Best. T.O. and Chad Ochocinco before T.O. Cho Show. Bret Hart before Wrestling With Shadows. Joe's on before his balls got punched in. Mayweather Sr. before Floyd was even born. Vince McMahon when it was still WWF. Chemo before the death hoax. They're all eating horse meat. These are uh, rooster egg. Rooster egg whites are actually, I think, 10 to 12 um, times the amount of protein as regular chicken egg whites. Uh, Aaron True needs me to prepare him healthy meals to prepare for his fight. There's no reason he should be eating egg yolks at all. He has bitch tits. There's no reason at all for him to be adding. I mean, he could just tape off. I could give him the yolks and he could tape them on because that's where they're going. I'm adding the horse meat like so. This. Looks pretty. That's kind of how she looks. So what do you think about horse meat? Yay or nay? Thanks for watching this episode of the True MMA Show. As always, we want your feedback. So contact us at truemmashow at gmail.com.